I like to introduce myself. My name is Bismarck. I can't forget New Jersey and Long Island and all over the world. We came to rock for everybody or like this. Get up, get on up. Deputy Mayor, thank you to all the friends, the family, the fans, Biz loved all of you. I just want to tell a, a quick story about Patchall. Biz, everybody knows he's been all around the world, everywhere, every corner of the globe. But every time he came home, we live in, in Maryland. He would say to me, uh, Tara, you know, I'll be right back. As if he was going to the corner store. I'm like, where are you going, Biz? I'm going to Long Island. I'll be right back. <laughs> this is like a five-hour trip from where we live. 
And I just wanted to mention that because uh, Patchogue and Long Island has always been a touchstone to Biz. No matter where he came from, he would always come back here to feel love, to show love, to give love. Um, that's why this is just so fitting that this uh, village of Patchogue has honored him in this way by giving him a street name, Bismarcky Way. That is, this is his way. Another story I just want to mention is that, you know, uh, Biz never drank, never smoked, never did drugs, never freaking in the streets and all that type of stuff. <laughs> but his vices were sugar, sugar of course, <laughs> and shopping. I knew that. <laughs> While Biz was in the hospital, got like a Amazon was issues. still coming to our house six months after this man was laying in ICU while still getting packages. <laughs> But Biz Markey, I, I'm like, how is he doing this? You know, he's in ICU. But anyway, one day I opened up a package and they were coffee mugs. Just some regular coffee mugs, black with little heart handles. He knows I like coffee, so I thought that was very sweet. Well, when I filled the hot coffee mugs up, one of the pictures was of him and I back 17 years ago, but the other one was of his house right there on West Street. And he had on all black, he had on his slippers, he had on like some funny little hat, and it was just a picture of him just pointing at his house back here. He loved Patchogue, he loved Long Island. It was in his heart. It was in his heart till the day that he died. And I just want to thank everyone again for this amazing, amazing honor. Demont, I'm so glad they honored you too. I love you. You know that. I'll be at your house later to pick up all of these paintings. <laughs> and uh, also thank you to the Halls. His sister Yvonne is here. Yvonne, you grew up in that house too, right? Yeah. And Roy, I haven't seen Roy yet, but I know I will. Where's Roy? Hey, Roy. Where are you at, Roy? And the Parkers. Listen, everybody needs a Parker family, okay? <laughs> They've taken me and my daughter in. Avery, come up here, sweetheart. And again, thank you so much to Tracy for putting this together. It's all right, babe. It's all right. We, we just I'm here, yeah. been so much. As all of you guys do. But we have a lot of things going for Biz. This is just one of many. I have meetings next week with, with uh, museums. I am the CEO of his foundation, the Biz Marquee Just a Friend Foundation. We will be coming back here quite a bit and partnering up, you know, with uh, all kinds of charitable organizations that Biz that meant so much to him. So you'll be hearing from us again, and thank you so much for coming out on this beautiful day. God bless. Thank you, Mrs. Carol.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tracy Jarkacher. I'm the founder of the Color Creative Collective, Collective located in Orange Beach, Capital. We would like to thank all of you for our welcoming village in Capital on this beautiful day to share this historical and joyous event in honor of our beloved friend, Marcel Theo Ball, reverently known as Biz Marquis. We welcome his lovely wife, Mrs. Tara Hall and family, his brothers and sisters and family, along with the Parker family from Nova Street in Brentwood. Before we begin the program, we would like to thank all of the people that made this happen. Our wonderful mayor, Paul Conieri, who is under the weather today. We would like to send him our well wishes and let him know how much he means to us for his effort in transforming our village into one of the most welcoming and recognized in the United States. That also serves as a model for other towns around the country. One moment. We also thank our elected Catholic Village trustees who were all in agreement and ratified the naming of South Street, right behind me, to Bismarck and Way. We include Deputy Mayor Jack Krieger, who will step in for Mayor Pani Village Clerk, Mr. Gordon <laughs> Mr. Thomas Furr, Joseph Keyes, Susan Hilton Brinkman, Salvatore Police, Ryan Egan, Patrick Mahefi, and our local government officials as their representatives. Presiding Officer of the Suffolk County Legislature, Rob Palarco, Brookhaven County Supervisor, Edward Romaine, New York State Senator, Alexis Waite, and Congressman Lee Belden, who honored this at an earlier date. Also, the Town of Brookhaven Black History Commission, which I have the pleasure of serving on, and our chair, Corinne Brown. Our sponsors, the Village of Petro, the Greater Petro Chamber of Commerce, the Greater Petro Foundation, the Foundation of the Notification Committee, Mr. Tom Keegan, and the Village Department of Public Works, that all the hard work that they did set the site. Of course, we thank all of you who have traveled from near and far to show, show love for Bismarck Heat. We ask that you kindly be mindful that we will start the program with honoring humanitarians that have contributed to the growth and served their communities in noteworthy fashion during our diversity celebration segment. Normally, we would recognize these people during the course of the year, but due to COVID, we weren't able to do that. We would honor them at Art Space in Patrol for the diversity celebration consisting of Black History Month, Hispanic Heritage Month, and celebrating diversity. So, um, next up, I'm going to invite Regina Hunt, who's part of the Upholders Committee, to welcome and honor our honorees. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy, for letting me follow that stirring performance. Uh, on behalf of the village of Patchogue uh, and the mayor and the village board of trustees and the entire staff at the Village Hall, uh, we want to welcome you today and uh, we want to thank Tracy for making this day possible. It's really uh, his work that got this done and, and uh, we've known Tracy here in Patchogue for many, many years and this is what he does. And let's right behind us on the South Street. So thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Krieger. Up next, we have um, our town supervisor, Mr. Ed Romaine. Thank you very much, and thank you to Tracy for all of his work. He also helps us in the town. I gotta tell you, great guy. Yeah. Lori, thank you also. I brought certificates because we have a couple honorees. We're giving one to Tracy for sure. And I know we're giving to all of them, okay? God bless you all. Thank you, Tracy, and it's a pleasure to join everyone here today. Thank you, Legislator Polanco. Now we 
will begin the introduction of the honorees. Our future in positive change through the honor. Demont Kinder, thank you for your uh, volunteer service. We appreciate you, brother. That's right. Yeah. In Memorial Hospital, which is now uh, Long Island Community Hospital. He attended Patrick Medford High School, where he's involved in the ROTC. He's a former business owner of a clothing store called Fashion and You. All right, so yeah, I had the honor of performing with this marquee a few years ago. That's like, that's a big deal to repeat boxer. So I just wanted to say that I appreciate everything that everybody is saying, but also, oh you know, Gabba Gabba is something that comes deep from my heart. I mean, this is the of what I do, and give it to the new generation. So here we go. enough power so we're gonna have to do this acapella okay here we go ready Like, oh, wow! One, two, I 
Took the people cheering because of what they're hearing. Moving and grooving to a devastating sound is glaring because they're in the mood for me. The B I Z, the Emma's, the Emma's, the A R K I E. The party ripping, never tripping, king of crowd pleasing. I can turn it out without a doubt in any season. I entertain crowds, a million and thousands. Homeboys making noise as I do browse through a girl's mouth. Say the funky rhymes that make the girls get naked. I can turn it out with different sounds on my record that I say give them is your absorb the rhythm. The magnificent record maker of prison. The biz markets are going off. The biz markets are going off. Try to get Ellie with me, the inhuman, because I'm like booming. Reagan is depressed, but so was Harry Truman. The biz markets are going off. The biz markets are going off. The biz markets are going off. The biz go off, go off. The biz markets are going off. The biz markets are going off. The biz markets are going off. The biz go off, go off. Now. Day. And always seem to come with something fresh to say In January, February, March, April, May And the other seven months of the year But anyway, hey, a little okay Here's a rhyme I must display When I'm finished, you be in it Say the hip hip parade I will be an MC till I'm old and gray And I can even rock the mic with tooth decay Decay, yo Ladies of the 80s know that I'm the original B.I.Z. I say what with the E You little me and my man Big Daddy I can't forget Master Cool V and my partner, my best friend TJ Swanee, rocking the mic would say most definitely. So listen, don't be missing. I will never be dissing. I just rock the mic and always have discipline. Listen, till the brother ain't the brother you discover. I'm